Greetings, boys and girls. I am Toucan Sam, and I'm here to introduce to you a record that was found at a thrift store recently titled Toucan Sam at the Big Race. It is a wonderful record. It has one little bad spot in it, but hopefully we'll make it through that part. But anyway, it's a wonderful record, and it's based on cardboard. I hope you enjoy it because it's dated back in 1983 by the Kellogg's Company, Kellogg's All Rights Reserved. Here we go. Stay tuned. Hold on to your hats. It's going to be wicked cool. Sports fans, this is Toucan Sam following his number for Kellogg's Fruit Loop, bringing you the sporting event of the century, an historic rematch of the famous tortoise hare foot race. Here to give you a little background, that towering talent, Al Giraffe. About this race, Toucan, the first tortoise hare encounter took place ages ago. The tortoise won because the overconfident hare stopped to rest, fell asleep, and lost everything. Now, to tell us about today's event, here's one of our racers, Hugo Hare. Any predictions, Hugo? Today, the rabbit wins. I'm not closing my eyes for even a second. Good luck, Hugo. Now, coming slowly to our microphone is Terence Tortoise. How do you feel about today's race, Terry? It's an honor to represent my species. I'll try to win for tortoises everywhere. Good luck, Terry. The zebra in official black and white stripes is about to start the race. On your mark. Get set. Go! They're off! The hare in a blinding burst of speed. The tortoise? Oh, he's barely left the starting line. Doesn't look like this race will be won by a nose. I'm flying overhead now to get a good view. The hare's almost flying himself. What a speedster. For a report on the tortoise, back now to Al. The tortoise is just inching along. His fans are still with him, though. Sir, would you mind giving us your name? I'm Sam Snail. Is racing your sport? If a turtle's involved, or another snail. The slower the race, the better we snails like it. We can curl up on our own little house trailer shelves and take a nap anytime we want to. What did you think of the hare's speed? Oh, scary. Had to pull off the road, tuck myself inside my shell, and wait for the wind to die down. Back now to the toucan who's following that whirlwind hare. The hare's well out in front. Coming over the hill, past the recreational center. Oh, 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 wait a minute. He's going inside. The hare's trying out a brand new video game. What a competitor. This hare is taking on two contests at once, the race and the video game. He's just established an all-time record here for free games won. He can't seem to lose. We'll check back with the tortoise now. Hold it. Wait a minute. Terry is just coming over the top of the hill. He's gaining ground. The crowd sees him now. They're cheering. The tortoise pulls in his little legs, turns on his shell side, rolls toward the finish line. The cheering's alerted the hare. He's out the door, zooming toward the finish line. But too late. The race is over. The tortoise has won. Bedlam is broken out here, Toucan. Nobody can believe that once again, the race has been lost by a hare. Hugo, I know you're still in shock, but will you ask for a rematch? <sighs> sure, I'll race that tortoise again next year. Congratulations, Terry. You must be delirious with joy. I'm just a little dizzy. Any message to your fans? Just that a race isn't won until it's over. You never win anything by giving up. You keep doing your very best, always. Champion words from a true champion. A splendid ending to our broadcast. 
Toucan Sam saying goodbye to good sports from Kellogg's Fruit Loops. <laughs>